Alright everybody, welcome to this uh, Minecraft Let's Play. Starting out for the first time, just want to try to give it a shot, see what you guys think, and uh, make sure you leave some comments in the comment section to see how I'm doing. So uh, let's just get started then. I'm going to make a new world, completely random. It's going to do it all on a preset default settings. Let's see here, what should I call this? Just make it simple, I guess. All right. So while this is loading, let me explain a couple of things. So uh, this is my first time recording ever, so you'll have to give me a few breaks. Um, try not to be too judgmental. I'm still figuring things out, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do this for fun and you know see what comes of it. And uh, if you guys enjoy it, just make sure to like and uh, subscribe and uh, just tell me what you think so I can make my videos better in the future. So. This is my uh, first time playing Minecraft 1.13. Uh, I've been playing Minecraft for quite a long time. I'll tell you more about my Minecraft experience in later episodes, perhaps. But for now, I just want to kind of get things started, introduce myself a little bit, and uh, of course play some Minecraft. So here we go. Getting the spawn area ready, I assume. A bunch of algorithms, running a bunch of threads, all ones and zeros crunched away very quickly. Here we go. Looks like we're about ready. And here we are. Let's see where we're at here. And there we go. All right. Enjoyable slideshow. Just give it a minute to start up here. Ah, yes. Looks like we're in a spruce wood forest here. Let's uh, do the usual starting step to punch some wood, get us started in the game, kind of see where we're going. Even got some nice music here to get us started. So uh, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. Um, I'm just any old Minecrafter. I've been playing this game for a long time. Um, I just enjoy it. I feel like though the popularity of the game has begun to go down a little bit, so I feel like I've got to leave my mark, if you will, on the community, so I feel like by making these videos I can somehow connect with other people who love this game as much as I do. Um, I've been playing since beta 1.7.3. Um, I have been playing Minecraft on and off for many, many years. I don't play it every day, but it's by far my favorite game of all time. Um, I really appreciate the simplicity of the game, but I also like just how much you can really do. There's no rules, there's none of that. You just kind of do whatever you want. I guess that's why everybody plays. So, my favorite part of this game is getting started, I guess you could say. Kind of just seeing where the world takes you. Kind of just letting things happen, not trying too hard to change everything all at once. Kind of take it slow, if you will. Well, it looks like I'm punching more of these tall ferns than I am any of these leaves, so I'll just stick with that. So, Alright, so the sun's already almost in the middle of the sky, so we got about half, a little under, a little over half a day left here. So, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find a place to settle down for the evening. I remember in uh, older versions of Minecraft, people uh, would always look for veins of coal because they knew if they could find coal, then they could make torches. And if they could make torches, then they could keep the, the monsters away. So I think in lieu of the old Minecrafters, I think I'm going to look for one of those veins of coal. Oh, I got a ravine here. Got a little mine shaft down there cart with chest. Looks like cool stuff I can explore later on, but for right now I just want to get started. There's a vein of coal there, but it's kind of unreachable. Let's see if we can find anything over here. What do we have here? A little cave system it looks like. Well, we got very lucky. We started out near a plains biome, so it'll be quite easy for us to find monsters. Here we go. Let's see here. We got a vein of coal here. Let's take a look around. Looks like a 
good little hill here. Let's look for something a little bit better, maybe. Water. Uh, apologize for the lag once again. I don't again. I don't have the best computer in the world. I'm just doing what I can. Got a little cave here. Don't want to go too deep in there. Who knows what's there? Yeah, ideally, I'm looking for a cliff face. Oh, big lag spike. Looking for a cliff face. Something that has just uh, kind of an open face. Nothing can really drop in on me from above. Oh, look at that. It's kelp. You know, I've never seen that before. This is my first time seeing it. That's pretty impressive. Oh. Well, this is definitely a cool looking area. Got some fish. Why don't we swim over there to that area and see where it takes us? I got some more lag. I promise this lag will subside once we just start generating all these chunks. I'll probably get better in future videos once we have a little swimming area assembled for each of ourselves here. Yeah, I like this. It looks like a cool area. Let's see if we can maybe set up a home here. This is really something else. You know, this game has really changed a lot since beta 1.7.3. But you know what? I think for the most part it's changed for the better. Nice little forest here. Alright. Any coal? If I found coal, that would be ideal. Got some sheep here. Nice little view of this. Looks like it's uh, some kind of kelp forest down there. You can see the kelp growing. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if there's any outcroppings of coal here. No. I guess I'm not as lucky as I thought I would be. Hmm. Well, we did find this... Uh, Whatever the hell this is. Andesite? No, it's probably... It's diorite. Hmm. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Maybe we'll find some over here. How much time do we have left? Looks like a, less than half a day. Wow, this used to be... I thought this was easier find oh we got some water here oh hey there's the coal I was looking for all right so let's just get started then get our basic items usual drill I'm sure you've all seen this before crafting table sticks planks and a wooden pickaxe to get started put that over there so not a lot of people may know this but you can actually mine coal with a wooden pickaxe. Oh yeah, an item slowed now, so I don't have to go down there to pick them all up. Oh, looks like there's a piece down there. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, I know why it's doing that. It's because it has the downward flowing water. Items can't float through down downward flowing water. So, I'm sure if those were source blocks at the very bottom, then they would float up. Yeah. All right. Sink down. Use the shift key now. That's the only way to sink down quickly is using the shift key. Alright, let's see if I can reach these other blocks here. Looks like I can't reach without going underwater. Alright, here we go. This is going to take forever. Let's, uh, I say we come back to this later on. Right now we're kind of running out of time, so let's uh, just go ahead and get some stone here, just so we can get ourselves set up. Some basic stone here. All right, let's grab our crafting bench and then go find a place to bed down for the evening. Awesome. So, what makes this game so fun? Uh, I think what really makes this game great 
is that you just have kind of, like I said before, you have control over everything. You, you get to decide your, your fate. Nobody can tell you what to do. There's no rules, there's no limitations, none of that stuff. All right, let's see if we can stay here for the evening. I can uh, chop down this tree and make myself some room eventually, but for now, let's just uh, dig into the side of the cliff here and set up for the evening. I really like about this game is that you can do it pretty much however you want. You can make your house any size you want or as big or as small as you want. For me, I'm I'm really into kind of building redstone and complicated mechanisms and just cool stuff like that that kind of makes my life easier. I'm I'm kind of a lazy kind of person. I like to have machines do things for me instead of having to do things repetitively. Uh, maybe in the future I'll show you some of the other games I play and uh, you'll kind of see what I mean. But uh, yeah, for now I'm just going to keep it simple and play this game. My favorite game of all time. Alright, so one of the things you need to keep a home safe is a doorway to keep out the unwanted creatures of the night. So I'll go ahead and create a spruce door. I don't know about that though because then I can't see outside. I have a better idea. Let's go ahead and have enough time. Yeah, I should have enough time. I'm just going to chop down this tree. Just get enough wood for a door. I'll come back out here with an axe and chop it down more once I get set up here. Alright, here we go. I know I went through all this work just so I could have a small little slot in the door so I could look out. There you go. Old fashioned oak door. Alright, now let's uh, get some torches here. Perfect. And there we go. Evening time already. So, looks like we have set up a home for the first night. We found coal. We didn't find it the way we originally intended, but we found it. And uh, here we are, 1.13. I never thought I would see a day when Minecraft would have fish <laughs> and other cool things added to it. I always thought got Minecraft was kind of a static game that never really changed, but uh, it's changed a lot since uh, 1.13, that's for sure. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself set up here for the evening, and uh, tell me guys what you think about this, if you guys want me to making more videos, if you guys think I should change anything, maybe even some ideas for projects in the future. I don't know, I'll definitely be looking in the comments section for more of your ideas, but for now I'm just going to get set up here and uh, call it a night. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for joining me, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe when you get the chance, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.